talk to me and hear everything I had to tell this boy. change their self-esteem or boost their confidence that's what you could do you could boost someone's confidence when their self-esteem is low but somebody who cocky that is going to annoy the hell out of you like that is going to drive you insane baby so do it like no i can't be with somebody who's cocky like just get out of my face i don't want to see you next <laughs> would you rather get dumped by text or in front of all your friends Baby, you could dump me by text. Cause anyway, <laughs> I really don't care. Like I really don't get the big deal. Why people just be like, oh my god, he broke up with me over text. Bruh, I've seen a problem with that. I don't know. I broke up with people over text a lot of times. I have no problem with that. Probably because I had a lot of long distance relationships. But <laughs> I just see no problem with that. Like. No big deal. According to my Instagram followers, 92% of them said via text and 8% said in front of all your friends. Number one, I really don't care if you do it in front of my friends. <laughs> Only one of my friends would probably be my roommate and Mel and they practically like family. So you can be embarrassing me. Everybody just be like, okay. Would you rather find true love or $10 million? And of course, people chose on Instagram ten million dollars. Sixty-four percent chose ten million dollars, and thirty-six percent chose true love. Honestly, I would pick true love because I'm a sucker for romance. I'm a sucker for love, also. But and I feel like money is not everything. You could get the money, still not still not happy. Like how much people have a lot of money commit suicide or do something like they're not happy with their life. So true love's gonna make me happy. Plus that have me established. Like I could do, I can make that money. Not saying I need true love to make it, but I can make that money. And ain't saying I can't ever make that money if I choose true love. Like I can make that money. So sorry, Instagram. I'm not with y'all with that one. The next question is: Would you rather love a long life? Love a long life? What? This ain't English. 
<laughs> Would you rather live a long life without ever falling in love or live a short life but experience a passionate romance? And this one is tight as well. 50% of people said live a long life without ever falling in love and 50% of people said live a short life but experience a passionate romance. For me, huh, for me, I would say I would live a long life without ever falling in love and live a short life. That's so hard because I'm a sucker for romance and y'all just hear me say like, you know, I love love. So I'm gonna go with, I'll let you guys choose in the comments below. <laughs> like, I really can't do that one. That one is kind of tough. Question is, would you rather find out the love of your life was cheating on you or got raped? Dang, I feel so bad because I had a twisted mind, which means y'all already know what I said, was thinking, but 92% of people voted that they would rather find out that their spouse was cheating on them. I guess that is really bad because I don't want to wish rape on no one because of course that experience is traumatizing and it's hard. So I'm glad to see that people in the world are still not sick, but I'm going to see that one person who voted, they got raped. Dang, bro, and that's a nigga too, like what? If you were to have a one night stand, would you rather go to go straight to the bedroom or have a romantic supper before? Uh, I'm that kind of girl, so sorry, we we'll do one night stands. <laughs> but if I was in a position, which I never will be, just let the record be straight, but just for the sake of this game, I would have a romantic supper before because that would mess up my mind to know that, you know. And according to Instagram, 50% of people would rather go straight to the bedroom, set it and quit it. 50% of people would rather put some little effort and feelings into it so they wouldn't feel so guilty for doing what they just did or they shouldn't be doing it. But, yeah. Last question is, would you rather have your crush date your best friend or your worst enemy? People are so sick. 60% of people say they'd rather have their crush date your worst enemy. Like, that's your crush. What's the sense of having a crush if you want them to date your worst enemy? Like, what the hell? What is that gonna do? Feed your mind? Turn you all like, what the hell? That is insane. I would rather my crush, because obviously, it's my crush. Oh, I see what they're saying, because it's like, your crush, and you're dating your best friend. So it's like, especially if it's a girl, probably they only have a boy best friend, I'm like, <coughs> don't matter to me. But I see why they say, I see why they choose worst enemy because if you could imagine, oh, this happened to me before in high school, I had the biggest crush on this boy. And my close girl. Friend at the time, girl, she talked to me and he had everything I had to tell this boy and our conversation was, and she gonna talk to him too. And they end up, you know, really kicking it off because number one, I ain't no fast girl, so if you want me fast, baby, go ahead. I ain't speeding it up for nobody. So I was like, so she ended up, Getting with my crush, and I was that was probably the first time I had a really hard break, but yeah. So I see why they say that because it's like, you're my best friend, bro, like, and you with my crush. Like, how am I supposed to feel? How am I supposed to soak that in? How am I supposed to soak that in? So I feel y'all with this one. I go with y'all. 40% of people said their best friend, 60% said their worst enemy. So, guys, and that is the end of this video. If you want to see a part two where I ask my, ask my Twitter family, or I do a part two back on Instagram. Let me know in the comment section, the comment section down below. I love you guys. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you get a notification every single time I upload. Roll it to 2K. Let's see if you get 2K. And by the way, I'm so Like I said, if you want to get a post notification, shout out. All you have to do is turn on your post notification, comment down in the comment section down below. Or I'll be the first to comment on this video and you will get shout out. Today's shout out goes to... You right up here, you are a post notification shout out. I know I supposed to give you a post notification shout out a little while ago, but I really keep recording and forgetting. But without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I gave you everything was mine, is yours. I want you to live your life, of course. But I hope you get what you're dying for. Be careful with me. Mm. Do you